Here's Rod Ashman taking it away for the Blues. Out towards Andy Lucas. Lucas to Ashman. Ashman in towards half forward. This is uh, big Daryl Dunlop. Bustling Billy. Puts <laughs> it the wrong way. Here's a chance for the Blues. That's Ronnie Ottertell. No, it's not. Tony Zoanetti. Tony Zoanetti. Zoe yeah, and Eddie. Yeah, <laughs> that was Ronnie Ockertel chasing after it. Perry Brown, the bow down pyre. That's Ronnie Ockertel tapping it down, but it goes to Mervyn Kane. Out towards Brian Wood, the princess. Over to bustling Billy Barrett. Big long kick, Billy. Down towards Royce. Nice bounce for Royce. Going back, Curly Austin. <laughs> in comes the ghost. Oh, beautiful tangle by. Oh, no! He's paid in the back. And listen to the Tiger fan saying. Perfect tackle. Boom. So Curly Austin gets the free kick on the wing on the members' side. Down towards half forward. Cloakey goes up high. There's Tony Zoanetti. Oh. That's out of bounds. Going for a bit of pace down there, David, with Zoanetti and Ockertel on the uh, on the line on this side. Ron Ockertel wearing shoes, not boots. Billy Barrett's really being There's Paul aggressive. Richardson. Customary hand pass across to Brian Wood. In towards Royce Hart. Tapped away by uh, Austin. But Barry Rowling's with pace. Short pass. Out comes Mario Bordalotto. He says play on as Fitzpatrick kicks it off the ground. Austin, this way, that away. Over to Andy Lucas. Oh, and he's kicked it wide for Tony Zoanetti. <laughs> Tony Zoanetti. Yes, taking his five minutes Rex, if you've got it right, finally. Up was Paul Richardson, but it comes out the back to Ashman. On to Chandler. Chandler down towards Baird, leading out from full forward. Kicked away by Tempany. Here's a chance for the Blues. That's Fife. And towards the forward pocket. All Richmond. Oh, good mark. And the mark taken done. by Emmett Dunn. Here he goes. Out to Francis Burke at centre half back. Oh, he almost threw that across to Mervyn Kane. Out towards Laurie Fowler. There goes Laurie using his pace. Tony Zoanetti's chasing him. No one home. And the mark's taken by Wintel of Carl. John Warden. John Warden, yes. Warden, thanks uh, very much indeed, David. Just over the head of Fowler. Here's Ronnie Ockertel. <laughs> oh, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A left foot kick. Oh, brilliant football by the Blues. But here's Tempany. Tempany himself well through there, uh, Tempany. Oh, what a mark by Kevin, by Kevin Morris in front of Andy Lucas. <laughs> Carl, played to their strength on this side of the ground. He looks for Jess. Oh, Dooley punts it away. Fitzpatrick. Oh, poor kick. Here's a chance for the Tigers. Dool's got it, though. Oh, look at this. That's magic, Bruce Dool. Down towards centre half forward. No one home. Landy for Richmond. He'll kick it out towards Francis Burke. Oh, he's slipped. Here's a chance. Pazasto. No one home. Use your pace, Ronnie Ockertel. Taken by Tempany. And he's got a chance to get it out to Cloak. He's got a man of the match award for the player of the day. And he's collapsed. He's play, <laughs> step play on. So the ball's kicked in short. There's a chance for Graham Landy. Richmond coming out of the bench. Back to bustling Billy Barrett at the center of the ground. Out to Brian Wood. Brian Wood will give it up to Bull Richardson. Go for a short pass, Woody. No, he goes down towards Roger Dean. Roger Dean, the lodger. And he tried to keep it in. Couldn't do so. And she's out of bounds on the wing. And there we know that who that uh, supporter barracks for. A great play in defence there for Graham Landy. He has been superb in this last few minutes of play. Cloak against uh, Fitzpatrick. Down to bustling Billy. Up to Lucas of Carlton. It's a point the difference. Carlton in front by a point. And Emmett Dunn takes the mark for the Tigers in the centre. And a solid defender too, Emmett Dunn. Dunn down towards centre half forward. Jess taps it away. Brian Woods there. Tries to get it out to Cloak. He does. 
with a chance for the Tigers back the wood, out towards KB, can Bartlett keep it in, beautiful shepherding by Jess, the ball out towards half forward, cruel bounce for Roger Dean, there's Gill, kicked off the ground to Johnny Ronaldson, hand pass to Morris, open goal for the Tigers, he goes for a handball, Barry Rollings, and the Tigers are in front! Barry Rollings kicks the goal, the Tigers are in front. Richmond go to eight goals, 6-54. Carlton 7-7-49, seven, seven, the Tigers lead by five points in the Battle of the Legends at Windy Hill. It's goal up by Peter McKenna waves the two flags. A lovely chain of handballs there from the Tigers, and it really looks as if they're fair dick, and they want to win this game. And finished off beautifully there by Rollings. Been one of the Tigers' better players all day, and it'd only be fitting if uh, Rollings kicked the goal that put uh, the Tigers in front. Good bounce by Robinson. Cloak, oh, look at the thump out of the centre by Cloak. There's Barry Mulcair, good tackle. The hand pass comes across from Kane. Bustling Billy, long kick, Billy Barry, drop kick. Oh, oh, Bruce still almost a one-hander. Fantastic, but wasn't it great to see that drop kick by Billy Barrett from centre half forward almost score a goal. Not quite oh. as penetrating as the drop kicks in that 60, uh, early late 60s grand final, but nevertheless, uh, Billy Barrett showed that he can still kick a drop kick. Ronaldson gets the tap. There's Mario Bordolotto back to the centre, and a mark has been paid to Carlton. Paul O'Brien. Former Echuca forward. Apparently living in Warrnambool. There's Peter Fife. Handball, but it goes to Murph Kane. Kane, a chance. Back towards uh, Laurie Fowler, and we're going to have a bounce. And the Tigers are leading by five points. I reckon that Richmond timekeeper might blow the siren if the Blues get any closer. They brought 54 their, to 49. They've got their big guns on now. Billy Barrett really giving some drive out of the centre. Chance there for uh, O'Brien, but he gets it to Morris. There's the ball, big ball, Richardson. Over to bustling Billy, waiting for it to bounce. Clean ball, Barry Mulcair. There's Roger Dean. Over to Graham Landy, he'll almost kick a goal from here, Graham Landy. He will kick a goal. And the Tigers are looking pretty good. Graham Landy, that's his first goal. And they go to an 11-point lead. 9-6-60 to 7-7, 49, and Graham Landy's beautiful long left foot kick stretches that Tiger lead to 11.60 to 49. Lovely play in that passage there from that great Tiger veteran, Roger Dean. A beautiful left-hand hand pass across to Landy, and Landy, perhaps one of the more athletic Tigers out there today, had no trouble in finishing it off with a lovely long goal. Robinson bouncing. Cloak gets it, Barrett put it in the last corner, but Warden takes it for Carlton. There's a chance. Bazasto, long, out towards Francis. He goes down towards Ronnie Ocatel. Oh, he's held it. Oh, Ronnie Ocatel. Surprised everyone, including himself then, Ron. <laughs> in towards full forward. And it's across the line for a behind. We'll give that one to Ronnie Ocatel. He certainly deserved it. 7 8 50, 9 6 60, a 10 point lead to the Tigers in this final term. So here we are now. Emmett Dunn. Nice short pass. Barry Rollings for Richmond in the back pocket. Murray, I'm sorry. I thought that was a brand of champagne. Wasting time, controversial decision by Ian Robinson. And he's taken off him. Shades of Mike Fitzpatrick against Destin up at Princess Park in 1981. Ordinary decision, that one. This Fife will be in. Fife. And he's missed. It's a behind. The kick by Fife. One point only. nine points is the difference. Richmond a 9 6 60, Carlton 7 9 51. Controversial decision by Ian Robinson on Barry Rollings. Emmett Dunn. And Dunn kicks it out, looking for Landy. Landy, despite pressure from O'Brien, takes the mark. I wouldn't waste too much time, son. A relieved coach, Tommy Hafey, feels that he might have it won. A big long kick goes down to the wing position. Here's a chance for Richmond, but comes back to Ashman, to Fitzpatrick. Chance for the Blues, a long kick by Fitzy to the open goal, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. It curls back, but not 
Far and up. One point only to kick by Mike Fitzpatrick. Carlton 7, 10, 52. Richmond 9, 6, 60. The scoreboard boys have got a bit excited. Timothy. Out towards Ian Owen. He won't try and pick it up. Up towards the wing. Francis there first. In goes Brian Wood. On the Tony Zoe, any lovely left foot kick down towards Ronnie Ogatel. Oh, look at that from Mark Francis Perks. Hasn't aged a minute. Stalwart in defence. Scoreboard's got Carlton 62, and in fact they're only 52. And the Princess Brian Wood marks on the wing down towards Emmett Dunn. And he takes the mark. Richmond looking pretty good. He's got the big bull in the centre of the ground. Jimmy Jess calling for it wide. Look at this. He's all on his own. Roachie will fly, but the oh. ghost's got it. <laughs> Jimmy Jess. Made good position there, Jim Jess. Called for it. And uh, a good kick from Brian Wood. But even better mark by Jim Jess. And the kick by Jess is just offline. One point only. Jesse's kicked three goals. 9 7 61 to 7 10 52. Nine point lead to the Tigers. I think Richmond have got it one as Portolotto kicks in. Look at that for a beautiful long kick. And here's Curly uh, Rod Ashman across to Bazasto. Bazasto. Oh, down towards Baird at full forward, but Tempany's going to uh, clear for the Tigers if the ball doesn't beat him. Yeah, he's got it though, Bruce Tempany. Cool defence. Then goes for the short pass, not a particularly good kick, but it'll come off. Across to uh, Landy from Kane. And Morris has got it on the wing on the outer side. So it's 61 to 52. Richmond in front by nine points. Morris across. Landy, what's that long left foot kick? Oh, beautiful. Down to Bartlett. Kevin Bartlett. Down in the uh, forward pocket. Winning a week's supply of chips from the Waverley, uh, And there's the kick shot. by so Kevin Bartlett. Well. Offline. And one point only and kick by KB. He hasn't Kevin. got a goal today. He'd be disappointed with that. Richmond, 9-8-62 there. Ten points up so on Carlton. There was 7-10-52. Seven seven uh, but so Port Alonso, or two, in the back, should be a free kick to Cloak. He'll get it. Cloak to Dunn. Dunn short. Jess. Lovely play by Richmond. Oh, he went for a handball to Barrett. Use your pace, bustling Billy. He's got it though. Ducks his head. Oh, he gets it away towards Brian. What out of bounds it goes. He's been free kick for holding the ball. Bill tried to use his, his weight and pace then, but uh, unfortunately not to good effect. A Richmond one. Peter Francis. And Emmett Dunn is marked. On the mark. Okay. Pinner Pinnell. Okay, the Dunn, the centre half ball forward. And Billy Barron is being held over the Bartlett. Bartlett trying to get it going. And Bartlett grabs over it. Over the shoulder, and says umpire Robertson. Ball. Bartlett gets a rather lucky free kick. He's going to pay him a free kick. And Kevin Bartlett has done an idea. He's the lead. He's going to kick it all over. Michael Roach marks and in the Roach forward pocket. The mark well Bartlett within kicking distance. 62 to 52. The Tigers in front. Lead. Time Nine running out from the Blues. 17 to 52 and Roach. Has taken the mark over Pat Lotto, standing the mark. Michael Roach has kicked two goals for the Tigers. Jimmy Jess has dobbed three. And he's kicked. Just missed offline and one point only. Two, one to Michael Roach. Richmond 9 9, 63. They're 11 points up. Carlton need to get two goals in a couple of minutes here as Duel goes out to Ward. Oh, 15 metres against Morris. He plays on. Fitzpatrick for Carlton. Here's Francis running strongly. Short in towards Barry Gill. Look out, Cloak, he was there. Barry Gill keeps the ball moving. Out there is uh, O'Brien pushing the back. 
the player very firmly as the oh there's Warden the again with Morris and umpire Robinson will call for about six times run out for the Blues here David Mackay Richmond up by 11 points Richmond are playing a very good brand of football they move, they're moving the ball quickly and their marking power in the forward line has just been too strong for the Blues more than 20,000 fans at Windy Hill and they paid more than eighty thousand dollars for the save the Tigers fund Richmond the leading 63 to 52 there's Bull Richardson beautiful but it goes to Barry Gill the siren sounds it's all over it's all over at Windy Hill and the perfect result the Tigers have won as they did over Carlton in the 69 and 73 grand finals. 9-9-63 to Carlton, 7-10-52, a winning margin of 11 points for the Tigers. Cameron Schwab introducing the Richmond players. Barry Rowling's first up. Johnny Ronaldson. One of the better players, uh, Barry Rowling's. Big Johnny Ronaldson. A couple of constructive hand passes for Billy Barrett. Good on your bustling Billy Barrett. Bugsy. Bugsy played well, Robbie showed a lot McGee. of aggression to win the ball in that last quarter. Robbie McGee, another one to change bright and early. <laughs> Barry. Jimmy Jess. Oh, one of the best on the ground with his three goals, Jimmy Jess. Cameron Clayton. Certainly a little uh, heavier than he was in his playing days, Cameron Clayton. Eric Leach. Richmond official now, Eric Leach. Kenny Stonehouse. Pretty good contributor, Ken Stonehouse. Graham Bergen. As was Graham Bergen on the half back line. A very good first quarter, Graham Bergen. Hard. <laughs> Royce, the Tiger skipper. One and only, Kevin Bob. KB. Solid contribution from the Tiger coach. Didn't kick a goal, though. Wayne Walsh, he's stripped early too. Ricky McQueen. Big Ricky, another one who changed early. Ricky got a solid knock in that first quarter. Uh, I think he suffered quite a bit from it. Bondi. Bull Richardson. And the big bull. Mike Perry. Huge man, Bull Richardson. Mike Perry, one of Melbourne's leading photographers. And a big hand for him in the commentary today, Rex Hunt. Didn't see much action on the field. Certainly heard a lot of him. Rexy. David Pope. Peter Lachlan. The country boy, Peter Lachlan. Roach. Roachy. Two goals. Bruce Tempany. Well too. Terrific last half by Bruce Tempany. Still looks pretty fit. Bourbon Payne. He could run a marathon, Bruce Tempany. Solid contribution also from Merv. Graham Landy. Well the and and did Graham Landy. Dashing game from Graham Landy, who kicked the long goal Brandon and put the Curry. Tigers in front. Francis like Burke, probably one of the best uh, players on the day, and uh, of certainly of the older brigade. A terrific game by Francis Burke, and showed that he's lost none of his aggression to win the ball Kevin and his courage. And that done coming up after Brian Wood. Kevin Morris. Kevin Morris certainly played a solid game for the Tigers. Laurie Fowler. Laurie Fowler. Frank Dippen. Here's mine host from Il Gambero, Frankie Divertina, changed already. Well done, Frank. Oh, to do business, eh? <laughs> Ian, Ian Owen. Owen. He could also run a marathon, I think, David. A bit of trouble picking the ball up today, Ian. But, uh, well done, Neville. Terrific. It's been a great day for the Tigers. And he showed the spirit early in the game. One player, one more player. Roger Dean.